Hello and welcome to another support video of Nexus Themes. In this video I will show you how you can change the color of a specific form widget on your WordPress website. And for this demonstration I'll be using the landscape design WordPress theme, but please note that it works the same for all the themes that we provide. In the landscape design WordPress theme we have a contact page which contains a form widget. Let me show you where it, uh, how it looks and where it, where it is. This is the contact page and this is the form widget. And as you can see the form widget uses a, a button at the bottom that says send and it's using a specific color. If you want to change the color of this particular of this particular widget, you have to go to the properties of this widget. So I'll open up the properties here. And in this whole pop-up, you can see there's a whole bunch of elements that you can configure. And one of them is the button. The button's color is defined over here. And please note that if you want only this form to be changed, you have to be aware that there could be a special feature in place, which is called a unistyle, which could mean that other widgets of the same type, so other form widgets throughout your website will be able to share the same uni style if this one is configured. If you really want only this particular form widget to have a different style than all the others, which is quite unlikely because in, in most cases it's best to have a uniform style, but if you want to only make this particular button to have a different style, then you first need to deactivate the uni style. So I will click first on deactivate, hit OK. And now that we have disconnected the uniform styling, let's go to Unistyle one more time. You can see I've disabled it. There's no Unistyle currently in place for this widget. That means that we can change the properties of the style and that will only impact the style properties of this specific instance of this individual form. So let's change the color of the button because that was our main objective. And in here you can see that we can define and select a whole set of color variations. And the color variations are uh, white and black. You always get, uh, get white and black. And there's three other colors that you can define. And um, uh, from those main colors that you see at the top, there's also variations. So you can see that there's a variations of transparency, which can um, uh, give different color variations, of course, of the main color. And there's also two ones here at the bottom that are for the gradients, from a light gradient to a, the regular color that you have selected over there, and from the main color that you selected over here to a darker version. This is really a best practice thing in here. So if I would pick, for example, this color and hit the save button, now I have changed the color of this particular widget and all the other forms in your website will still have the other colors that you configured over there. So by using this technique, you can change that style. If you want to change the colors from the palette, that's possible too. Um, so you can open up the flyout menu by clicking here at this thick arrow at the top. And in here, you will see in the design tab that there is a sub tab called colors. And in here, you can change the colors that you can use throughout your site. Be informed that those main colors that you see over here, so black and white you get by default, plus the three ones that you can define over here, they are being reused throughout your site, which is very good because if, for example, I would change the color of this, this one here in the middle, that would impact the color of the menu button, the color of the button that you see over here, and the one on the left will be the color that I selected for this form uh, button, for the button in the form. Uh, those colors are truly aligned throughout the entire site because the site itself uses a specific color palette which connects to these three colors. If you change colors over there, that will impact the entire color style throughout your site. If you want to not use any of these colors, but uh, use, for example, in this case, a purple color, which is not in the palette, and if you don't want to change any of the colors in the palette to purple, then the only way to do that would be to apply a custom CSS, uh, which is also possible. There is a different video that explains how to apply custom CSS, so um, be sure to check out the support section on, uh, on, on, that, on that area. Using custom CSS, by the way, is highly disencouraged. We disencourage people um, 
to, to use custom CSS because uh, in that case you don't follow the design the design guidelines that are in the in the theme uh, but everything that you want to do for customizations is possible of course all right I hope this was helpful I hope by now you've learned how you can change the color of the buttons in an individual uh, form box throughout uh, that is being used in your WordPress site. Um, if you have any more questions about this feature or if you have any uh, questions about other features in our themes, please do let us know because we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.